Hey everyone, it's another episode of... Froxy's Bridgestone Breakdown And today we are gonna look at a lectern selection system So this idea is nothing new There are a lot of uh, people already making some really cool contraptions that make use of this right here So uh, if you don't really understand what it means by the title, I will show you right now So Basically, here's a lectern, and this is where you control your uh, system. So, once you put in a book, and this is just a testing book to show you guys how it works. So, uh, right here you can see here's a ton of redstone. So, you can see that there's only one piston extending at a time, and each time when you turn the page, you can see that a different piston is extending so you can see once I turn to page 10 you can see that the 10th uh, piston is extending and this is basically what the system is so depending on which page you turn a uh, different piston will extend and if you messed with the books uh, before you will know that you can get more than 15 pages and That will actually also work the the same, but it won't work as good as uh, a 15 pages because This if you have more than 15 pages uh, Some of the page will be Giving out the same signal strength. So that means a different page will have the same signal strength and the same piston will extend, so that completely uh, destroy the purpose of this system right here. So, uh, so let me show you the basic concept of this system. So right here we have a lectern, and once you put in a book in the lectern, you can see here's a book, and you can see that the signal strength is one because if you have 15 pages and you are on the first page, it will give out one signal strength. But if you turn to page 5, you can see the fifth uh, redstone is currently powering. That, so that means the fifth page is uh, currently. We are on the. We are currently on the fifth page. So that. Uh, is the same for all of the pages and you can see the redstone changes and it is quite fast so that means uh, the system right here is also uh, will be very fast so uh, why this is useful you may ask so uh, right here I've made a different book so we'll put in this lectern what so Right here you can see our first page is currently uh, saying the first and then villager breeder and you can customize whatever uh, things you want to say in a page and you can do something like this and this basically you can customize the, the book to look like this and you can actually control all of your farms uh, by just using this system right here and you can also see what farm you are currently uh, changing and You can actually customize whatever things you want to say in the page so that is why it is very useful and It's very easy to use you just have to control this one lectern. So this might be a room and you just stand here to control all of the stuff that uh, you wire this system to. So uh, that is enough talking and let's start building. So these are the materials you'll need and this is whatever building blocks you have. And this is actually quite a big uh, contraption. So you might need up to two stacks of building blocks because you have a lot of blocks right here and they are quite compactly uh, used so uh, you might need up to two stacks so let's start 
with the tutorial. So first you put up, put down your lectern, and then a block behind the lectern, and then a block diagonal like this, going down, and put 15 blocks like this, and make sure it goes to the back and not to the side. And actually you need to put one more block because you'll need a space for the comparator. So that means one block for the comparator like this and 15 blocks for the redstone dust. So once you build the platform, it's time to put down your redstone. So put a comparator facing backwards like this coming out from this uh, lectern and then put down 15 blocks of redstone dust like this So now once you put down all of your redstone dust It's time to put down the rest of the comparator and the piston and stuff So put a block like this diagonal from the side and also going one block down and you can actually build it on either side that you want or have space for so it's completely the same, you just have to mirror it. So uh, I'll build it to the left, uh, to the right, sorry. So once you have a block like this, put 14 more blocks like this, and you'll end with the same axis as this one. So now you have a line of blocks like this. It's time to put down your repeater on these blocks, so 15 of them, like this. And once you are done with that, uh, it's time to put another line of blocks like this, from this uh, first repeater to the last. So it should look like this, and then put your redstone torches on these blocks, and make sure it is at the back and not on the side like this. So after that, put a line of blocks on top of the repeater. And you should put it from the first repeater to the last one. So the end should look like this. And then put down another line of redstone dust on these blocks. Like that. So once you have that, Put down another line of repeater on top of this block that has redstone torches uh, attached to the side. So again, point them in the same direction as the repeater underneath here. So you can see they are facing the same way. And after that, again put down a line of blocks on top of the redstone torches and you should put it from the first redstone torch to the last one, like that. And right here it's all uh, personal preferences and also how much space you have. So you can either put the redstone torches right here or right here. So you can put wherever you want and it will actually work the same. So let's put the redstone torches here. And again put them from the first one to the last one and now you have something like this and you will notice that none of these redstone torches are powering because there is no books in this lectern currently so you need a book in here in order for this to work so once you have that again right here it's uh, about how much space you have or personal preferences so you can put your sticky piston like this directly on the redstone torches or you can put a line of blocks like this first and then your sticky piston so it's up to you so both of them will work the same so if you want the the sticky piston to be like mission failed We'll get them next time. So if you want your stick piston directly on your redstone torches, you just put it from the first one to the last one uh, like this. But if you want a line of blocks first, it's again the same. Put it from the first one to the last one and then 
your stick piston will go on top of those blocks. So now you'll. So now you. So now you are done with your stick piston, and why we use stick piston, I will explain later. But let's finish it off uh, with one more uh, step, which is put the blocks on top of these uh, sticky piston. So you can use whatever blocks you have, but they have to be movable by piston and also a solid block that can transfer signal. So now you are finished with the whole entire system and it's actually not connected to anything and you have finished the entire system and currently it's not connected to anything and you have to put in extra redstone in order to finish the system or fully integrate your lectern selection system into whatever you want so first you can just test out if this system works i will take a book from here and put it in here so remember to get a book with 15 pages and can just scroll through like this and see if it works and can even go to the front page and see if it is working properly just like that and what's great about this system is that you can scroll through the books however fast you want and the system actually won't be damaged like you won't see the blocks like this but you do have to uh, be careful of uh, this thing from happening uh, which the sticky piston will spit out its block and that will happen when you change books uh, when you take out the book and then put it in or just do something uh, very big with the lectern and it will actually spit out its block and you don't want that and whenever you change your book or just do something unusual with the lectern make sure to check if your blocks are on top like this because if it is like this your system won't work and be sure to put down the blocks back to its original pos position so once your system is fully functional and it can work fine it's time to connect your system to whatever stuff you want this system to connect to and you can actually just customize the uh, ha the way you power the things that you connect this system to like can do a button for turning it on and also another button to turn it off so you can do stuff like that but you have to think the redstone for yourself because right now i will just teach how to make a one button uh, just to turn it on or turn it off so you'll need some block uh, repeater and redstone dust so once you have those materials it's time to build uh, some more redstone so put a block beside this block right here where it is not extended by a piston but if it is like this you put it here and just put 15 blocks like this to the last uh, piston right here that we got and another line like that so now you have a platform here that is two blocks wide now put your redstone dust on this back side right here and then another line facing into the direction that the piston is at so you point in to that direction and now you have something like this and you might already know what is going on so Whenever you change the pages, just like that, now it is page 8. You can see that the 8th piston right here is extended. And that means you can power the redstone over 
uh, this barrier right here and if there is a block the redstone signal will go through but if it is an air block right here the redstone won't go through so that is what we are uh, using right now so you have something like this and you can actually connect this to a button so you can bring down the redstone like this and just you can just bring this redstone to somewhere that is easy to access the redstone and then just a stone button like this or whatever button you have but also take note that you need a repeater directly into this system because this is a 15 block uh, distance and make sure you have a redstone repeater directly uh, going into this section right here because this line of redstone here is a 15 block distance and redstone can only travel uh, 15 blocks so you'll need something here to uh, give more signal strength to the section right here so you just put a stone button or whatever you want and you can see that all of these are powering so you can see it like that and now on the back you can put another line of blocks at the same Y level like that and then just all the way like that and then a line of redstone repeaters like that so now it is ready to be wired up to whatever stuff you want so you can see once you push this button there is only one repeater that is powering so just like that you can control whatever line you want to power and this system down here is just to choose whatever blocks uh, that is getting pushed up and actually transfer the signal so we can choose uh, page 11 and then you can see the 11th uh, row of block is up so that means you can push this button and the 11th uh, repeater is powering you can see just like that and just mess with this uh, system and you can understand how it works and that is all to it uh, to this uh, lectern selection system and it's actually quite useful but there is not a lot of people using this uh, system to actually uh, use it in a practical way but yeah it's it's a fun concept in your base or whatever uh, industrial areas that you have and you can just uh, turn on and off whatever farms or stuff that you wired this up to by just using this one block of lectern so it's very useful and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did make sure to leave a like and also subscribe so you'll never miss any future contents so uh i'm frogsteen i'll see you guys in the next video bye